Hi, welcome to Movie Video Games, a show on video games based on movies. I'm your host, Matt Bradley Shergi. This time around, we'll look at Dragon the Bruce Lee story for the Sega Genesis. The movie came out in 93. The video game for Sega Genesis came out two years later in 95. Based on the books Bruce Lee the Biography, written by Enter the Dragon director Robert Klaus, and Bruce Lee the Man Only I Knew, written by Linda Lee Cadwell, the widow of Bruce Lee, the film is a fictionalized look at Bruce Lee's rise to stardom. Jason Scott Lee of Ghoulies 3, The Ghoulies Go to College fame, plays the titular Bruce Lee, No Relation. The screenplay by director Rob Cohen of Stealth fame, John Raffo of Johnny Skidmark's fame, and Edward Kamara of Enemy Mine fame, skillfully combines a romantic comedy with hard-hitting martial arts scenes. You get Hollywood behind-the-scenes shenanigans as Lee gets dicked out of his stirring role after creating the concept for the TV show Kung Fu. You get an interracial romance between Bruce Lee and Linda, played here by Lauren Holly of the Chump Scrubber fame. The ending is quite sudden, much like the ending of Bruce Lee's life itself. The movie, Dragon, the Bruce Lee story, is well worth your time. Published by Acclaim Entertainment and developed by Virgin Interactive, Dragon the Bruce Lee story for the Sega Genesis is far better than it has any right to be. There are a few different ways to play. There's a more traditional single-player tournament fighting mode one might find in games like Mortal Kombat, but the real surprise and meat of the game is the single-player story mode. The plot of the flick is streamlined to its basics as you play as Bruce Lee fighting his way through his life story. Some fights even challenge you against multiple opponents at once for an extra special challenge. As was customary for the time, there's no tutorial mode, so you have to go by what's in the instruction manual or figure things out uh, for yourself. Animation is lively and the graphics have a nice punch to them, no pun intended. Fighting comes at a quick pace and the settings have uh, a good set of background animations. A bum is peeking out of a trash can in one scene, also flies hover around a street lamp. Although the fighting system lacks the depth of a Street Fighter 2 or a Fatal Fury, the detailed animations and unique narrative structure make Dragon the Bruce Lee Story a movie video game of a different color. It's uh, a lot of fun, and you can even play the narrative story mode with two players. How about that? That's pretty unique. So, this is Matt Bradley Shergi with Movie Video Games. Leave comments below. Tell me what you thought of the show and suggest games I should cover for the next episode. When you reach that upper level, your mind, body, and soul become one. Catch you later.